hey y'all hey welcome back to my channel my name is Kayshawn and thank you so much for clicking on this video today you already know your girl is back with another video based on the title you know exactly what I'm about to talk about make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Kayshawn with three E's y'all already know this is part six or seven I think this is part six so part one through five will be linked in the description box below. So you might want to check that out before you watch this. Now, I seen a comment that said I should title this like the girls trip after math or something like that. And I think I'm going to do that. But without further ado, y'all, let's hop right into the story time. Let's go. All right, y'all. So boom, y'all know exactly how I like to start my story times off again. This is going to be the aftermath of the girls' trip. So, we are no longer in Atlanta, but it's still about the same people, okay? So, I left off at part five or whichever part, talking about, you know, how we made it through the airport. They was trying to fight, argue, whatever. We end up leaving. Well, I end up leaving them at the airport. Or, I end up leaving and they had their ride at the airport, right? So, I was talking on the phone with birthday girl and friend. And, you know, at this point, now we're talking about the dinner. Remember, I told y'all, B-Day girl or birthday girl had already established a birthday dinner before we left, right? So, it was supposed to be that following Friday or Saturday, right? Y'all know we got back on a Sunday. So, throughout the week, we are still talking about the dinner and stuff. And, remember, originally, I told y'all, she sent out the text message saying that it's going to be, let's say, at Benny Hanna's at 6 p.m., right? Now, throughout the week, I guess more people was getting added on to the birthday dinner. She like, oh, her other friend could come now. Now her other friend don't got to work, so she could come. So I guess the birthday girl had exceeded her limit for the previous reservations. Let's say at Benny Hines, that said she had a table for eight, and now she need a table for 12. And they said that they could not fit that party. So at this point, she like, well, I'm going to see about this other restaurant that I want to check out and see if they can accommodate our party. So I'm just like, okay, you know, just let me know, whatever. We end up changing the restaurant because more people was added, which in hindsight, well, that's going to come up later on. We really should have just stuck with the same restaurant. Well, no, we're we going to get to it, right? So she's added more people. So now it's supposed to be her sister and a couple of her other friends. I think like a couple of her cousins, whatever. I only know a couple of people. Like I knew, I didn't know all of birthday girl friends, but I knew her family that was there, like her sisters and her cousins or whatever. But I didn't know all her friends. The only friend I would have known was Fran and this one other friend that she got, whatever. So, okay, so the, the weekend or the week pass is Friday. So, B-Day girl or birthday, I don't know why I keep saying both. Birthday girl wanted me to come over to her house, right, and do her makeup. Which, y'all, I get this a lot or whatever, but, like, even though I know y'all see me with the makeup looks and stuff, and y'all probably think I can do a lot of stuff, or I don't know. I'm just one of those people that only can do stuff on myself. Like, I don't know how to do other people makeup. And then, you know, when you say that to people, they be kind of thinking you lying because then they see you with your wing liner and your eyeshadow, and they be like, can you just do what you did to your face on me? And I be trying to explain to people, like, I don't know what it is, but doing it on other people's face, especially, like, putting on other people's mascara, like, I just can't really do that. So, shout out to all you makeup artists out there, because that's a real talent. I truly don't know how to do it, and I be feeling like people think I'm lying because I don't want to help them. And they be like, no, girl, like, I'm a girl's girl. I would love to help my fellow girl out, but if I can't do it, I can't do it. And then, if I play on your face and it turn out ugly, now you're going to be bad at me, like, why your line, Why my liner don't look like yours, or why this? Then you're going to think I try to sabotage you, and then it's just too much right so birthday girl did want me to come over her house a little early that way i can do her makeup even though i've already expressed to her that i don't need to do makeup but or that i can't really do makeup but she was like all she wanted was like um this little glitter shadow that she had and she wanted me to fill in her brows a little bit she don't really wear like uh foundation and stuff so she was like i got this powder if you could just little put a, a little bit of powder on me to even out my skin a little bit of glitter and she already had her lashes done so that was cool and she wanted me to fill out fill in her eyebrows just a little bit so i was like okay i, I, I probably could do a, I could probably do a little something with that i probably could do that right so you know i get dressed or whatever you know i look cute we dressed up because you know she got her birthday dress on and she gonna wear heels so you know we're gonna dress the part too so i go to birthday girl house friend is there her cousin's there her um no her sister wasn't there yet because she was supposed to be getting off of work 
exactly at that time. So she was going to be late. So the only people that was there was the birthday girl, Fran, and two of her cousins, I believe. If I'm leaving somebody out, it's fine. Like, they're not too important. So, you know what... I, and I dislike this, y'all. But when I go to birthday girl house, I get to doing her makeup. I use that real loosely because I wasn't doing a lot. Here come everybody else want to fall in line. Can you do mine? Can you put a little liner here? Can you do this? And I'm like, y'all, I am not confident in doing people makeup. Like, please do not do this. And then when I walked in, they already giving me shots because it's the birthday girl. So, you know, we're going to turn up a little bit. You know, we pre-gaming to go to a dinner. Well, we wasn't like pre-gaming like we're not about to take four or five shots to go to a restaurant but we did have a little shot or two right so i'm like oh my god and i don't know about y'all and this just happened to me over the weekend if i don't have nothing on my stomach which i didn't because i was getting ready to go to dinner like two shots normally might not do none to me but if i have zero on my stomach if i take two shots i'm damn near drunk i'm not even gonna hold you like i'm like low-key intoxicated because I have nothing on my stomach, so the liquor is just sitting there. So, when I took that two shots, I was already getting a little hot, y'all, because I haven't ate. And mind you, the dinner, I don't know what, well, y'all know me. I, I, I already wake up late. Like, I wake up in the afternoon, and I think the dinner was like at five or six. But, of course, I left the house at like four something to go to her house, and we still got to drive to the dinner and stuff. So, when I woke up, I kind of just got dressed. And I think the only thing I had was something to drink that morning. Like, I did not eat nothing at all. So, I had nothing on my stomach. So, I'm like, listen, I don't know. I told y'all not to let me drink. I told y'all, you know, I didn't have nothing on my stomach. And y'all trying to get me to do everybody's makeup. It's not going to happen. Being drunk and doing makeup is just never a good combo, right? So, I get the birthday girl out the, out the way, of course, first because it's all about you, love. Uh all about you, girl. On the 16th birthday. So, now, what's that episode of Spongebob? And anyways... Y'all don't know nothing about my uh, Spongebob, okay? Because y'all know I don't play about him. But anyways, so I get her out the way. I did one other person. And then, like, at that point, I'm starting to get hot. I'm starting to get giggly. I'm laughing. I'm playing. The eyes are starting to get low. Did yes, y'all, off two shots, okay? So I'm just like, y'all, I don't know. I can't do this. So the cousin, like, come on, come on. Like, you only got really me left. Like, try to hook me up. And then she got the nerve to want wing liner. I am not an expert at wing liner, even on myself. You get what I'm saying? Anyway. Anyways, y'all, let me not. I know y'all love the details. So I be having to get everything right. So, I'm not going to lie. The cousin. Okay, we're going to give her cousin a name, though, because this, this cousin kind of important. So, she got two cousins there, but we only going to name one. That The one cousin, we going to name her Brittany. We'll do Brittany. So, Brittany, I get to her, and Brittany is so funny. I love Brittany. Don't get me wrong. She's so funny, but she wanted me to do that thick, like... I think it's the Amy Winehouse. Like, y'all know that thick, like, liner. She wanted me to do that. Why? So, I, I told her. I put a disclaimer out in front of everybody. I said, y'all. I was letting them know I'm getting buzzed. But Brittany, like, girl, it's okay. Like, you know, I trust you. You got it. You got it. I'm like, girl, you want this thick-ass liner? She didn't even just want a little liner. You want me to do that thick wing liner? Come on now. I don't know about that. She was like, just try it. Like, I really want to. I love how I look on people. Just try it. If it don't work out, she's like, girl, it's makeup. It'll wash off. I'm like, okay, Brett. Okay, Brett, Brett. Like, I'm going to attempt it. Y'all, of course, one side turns out, like, perfect. Like, I was so proud of myself because here I am tipsy. And I was, like, I was in her face like this trying to stay so still and get that shit perfected. One side turned out good. The other side, mm, not so good, y'all. I'm not going to lie. So, I had wiped it off. I start again because, like, I'm determined now. That's that's my problem. That's why I don't do people makeup. Y'all know I used to kind of do nails. I don't do nails no more because I am a perfectionist. And I'll be there all night until I get that shit right. And that's just too much stress on my brain, right? So, I wipe it off. Put another one on. Y'all, I'm fucking up. I'm not going to lie. So, I wipe the second one off, y'all. So, at this time, it's like third times the charm. That's what I'm thinking. The third time one, so charming, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I put that third liner on. The shit was whack. It was wonky. It, one liner, <laughs> one wing up here, the other wing down here. I'm like, God damn it. So, I was telling Brittany, like, let me just wipe both of them off. Like, I can't get it. She was looking in the mirror, and she like, no, I'm good. These look good. And it's like, you know, when you do something, you can see the flaw and stuff. But, like, maybe it don't look like a flaw to other people. I don't know. But it was looking, that bitch was looking wonky. But keep it. Stay with me, y'all. I know y'all probably thinking, like, girl, why are we talking about lying? Da, da, da. Stay with me. Stay with me. The, please remember, any detail that I say, 
it adds to the story, okay? So, she didn't want to wipe it off. So, I'm like, okay, girl, if you like it, I love it. I'm not going to make you wipe it off. I do think it look crazy, but, hey, if it makes you happy, love, I did my part, okay? So, she wanted to leave the liner on. So, we take in some pictures. Uh, birthday girl mama is taking our pictures or whatever. So, we sitting there. So, um, we were supposed to go out right after we leave the dinner. But, uh, one of her cousins wasn't going to go out. So, I told the birthday girl I would drive her because, you know, it's your birthday. You don't need to drive. Originally, the cousin was going to drive. But, she like, well... Um, the club y'all going to is down by the restaurant and I'm not going to go to the club because she kind of older. She kind of really don't like parties or whatever. So she did. She was like, you know, a birthday girl, you might want to drive your car because da da da. But then I was like, no, don't worry about it. I take her to the club and I'm going to bring her home or whatever. So that's the plan. So we get to the restaurant. So birthday girl, her party is already there. Like she, her cousin, her sister end up uh, pulling up and like whatever, just people, her party there. So, I was pleasantly surprised because, y'all, as, as black folks, everybody was on time. Which is good because, you know, a lot of these, like, upscale restaurants, they don't like to sit you down if your full party is not there. So, everybody was there. So, you know, I come in. I'm, I'm saying hi to everybody. You know, we all hugging and stuff. And everything cool. So, we sit down, y'all. As you can imagine, of course, we taking pictures. We uploading the pictures that birthday girl mama had took all of that, right? We having a good time. So, the drinks are coming out because you know we got to get a cute little fancy drink. We get the drinks coming out, so we just laughing. So, at that point, um, birthday girl's sister, she's got two. I think both her sisters was there, but only one really matter, y'all. It's a lot of people, so I don't want to get everybody a name because then I'm be confused. And a lot of people not really relevant in the story so birthday girl sister had just end up bringing up you know like the trip you know how people just ask like how's your trip and everything and i guess birthday girl had told her sister some of the stuff that went on but you know because wrong not here we just kind of like talking about it a little bit what they talking about it, you know i'm just kind of listening and my two cents in every blue moon and they were just asking like same thing y'all was asking because the birthday girl sister she know me she like okay girl you had all that patience and da 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 I'm like, sister, you know me. Um, That is they friend. So, I don't be having time for nothing they got going on. I want to go see that girl a day in my life anyway. So, I wasn't really tripping. She wasn't really bothering me. Yes, she was irritating. But wrong really wasn't bothering me. Like, she wasn't moving me. She wasn't moving my soul because I be unbothered, y'all. So, I was telling her that. So, we kind of just talking about it. Our food come out. We eat it. We talk it. All it is. Next, you know, birthday girl was like, what the fuck? Look at this. So, we look at the picture, and underneath the picture on social media, this bitch wrong comment and was like, why the fuck you ain't tell me you switched to restaurants? <laughs> so, and it, mind you, it's underneath the picture. It ain't, she didn't text it to a birthday girl. It's underneath the picture. So, of course, you know, we looking like, what she mean why you ain't tell her to switch the rest? And our mind, again, like I said in the last video, maybe they could have been wrong for, for assuming, but we kind of all thinking like, y'all kind of fell out on the trip, so why did you think you was supposed to come to the birthday dinner? And even if you thought you was, I feel like you should have talked to the birthday girl before just to make sure and say, hey, I would just make sure me and you were still good. Am I still invited to the dinner? Like, you don't fall out and try to fight the birthday girl and then think when we get back home, you still supposed to come to a birthday dinner because you was previously invited. You get what I'm saying? So, I guess Wrong went to Benny Hanna's, the first restaurant. But remember, that restaurant couldn't fit our party, so we had to switch restaurants. But mind you, like I said, at this point, our food was already out. So... Why are you just not noticing that we had a different restaurant? Either you really didn't go to the other restaurant or you was planning on being an hour and a half late. At that point, why would you come to somebody's dinner an hour and a half late? Because why are you just realizing we're not at Benihana's, right? So, um, so of course, we just looking at like, I'm like, what you going to say to her? Because I'm confused on why you think you was supposed to get an invite, but whatever. So, birthday girl ended up texting wrong. She didn't comment on, uh, she didn't comment on social media. She texted her like, um, I, you know, I see your comment on my page, like, the way we left off, I didn't think you wanted to come to my birthday dinner, like, you know, we didn't leave off on the best of terms, so, this is the thing, y'all, this is how I knew Ron, it's just, like, she wanted to start something, or she just was weird, like I said, I told y'all, Ron comment underneath the picture on social media, the birthday girl responded to Ron through a text message, and Ron read the text message and went back underneath the picture on social media to respond. If somebody texts you, why would you go on social media and say, blah, 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 blah? 
You get what I'm saying? So it, it, on social media, it looked like Wrong is talking to herself. And through text message, it looked like the birthday girl is talking to herself, right? Weird, 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 weird. After the birthday girl, sorry if I pause a lot. Like it'd be hard to like remember the fake names and to remember not to say their real names. So if I like kind of stutter or you know whatever that's just why because i'm trying to remember all these people and say a fake name but anyways so of course after the birthday girl had said that like you know the way we left off i thought we weren't cool wrong went on the social media and responded like why would we not be cool did we say we was no longer friends and the birthday girl texted her back and was like why you keep responding on social media like of course yeah we never said we wasn't friends but you trying to fight me and us arguing the whole uh time on the trip like i didn't i didn't think we left on the best of terms to the point that i wanted you at my dinner so wrong goes back on social media and she's like well if you didn't want me at your dinner why you didn't uninvite me so everybody like you know how you be asking people at the table like is it me because in my eyes, yeah, maybe they could have been wrong for assuming that wrong should just know not to come. But I feel like if you try to fight somebody and y'all leave off arguing and about to fight at the airport, whether she was trying to fight the friend or not, like you still try to fight the birthday girl. If y'all leave off not speaking to each other, I don't feel like somebody needs to personally uninvite you to the dinner. I think you should kind of know. If y'all haven't talked since y'all was about to fight. And then it's that girl birthday. I don't, th me personally, I wouldn't just show up. I would call my friend or whatever and check the temperature and see what's going on. Especially if you try to fight her. It ain't like y'all just got into an argument. You put your hands on her face. You was trying to fight her. You was talking shit about them or us or whatever on the airplane. So, you can't just assume that you was going to come. Whatever. So, whatever. Wrong is like responding back on social media. So, at this point, it turned into kind of a back and forth about why you keep putting it on social media. And they not even really talking about the birthday dinner no more. She like, you know, the birthday girl like, why you keep responding on social media? Like, you being petty? Are you trying to be messy? You want somebody to know that we not talking or we having issues? Like, what's your point? So, Wrong goes back on social media to respond. And she's like... Girl, I don't want nobody to know that we beefed out. I'm only responding on social media because my first comment was on social media. So why would I text you now? And I'm just kind of thinking, I don't know if that makes sense to y'all, but I'm thinking like even if your conversation started on social media or your initial response to her was on social media, if somebody is texting you to not have the whole internet in your business, why wouldn't you just go through t like go back through the messages especially if you claiming that y'all are still cool and y'all are still friends what is the point of you responding on social media like i didn't understand that because now i feel like you want people to know because mind you it wasn't like ron was the only person underneath the picture everybody was because it's the birthday girl birthday so of course when she posted the picture everybody was underneath the picture saying happy birthday have fun you look beautiful so mind you you got air you got all her aunties and friends and family and cousins saying happy birthday and da 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 all of this and then you got wrong in the comments saying like oh, why we ain't talking why this da da da, -da we beefed out da -da. so of course some of her family members are in the comments like what's this about like what's going on like you straight da 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 because wrong is saying like. Uh, well, if, even if we got a tour on a trip, what about this? What about, like, she's kind of getting a little staticky. So now people are starting to respond. One of those people being Brittany, which is the cousin that was at the dinner. Because she like, I'm about to go in there and comment too. Because my thing is, you had Monday to Friday. Well, this is Friday. So I'm going to say you had from even Sunday to Thursday to call your friend or whatever and discuss and figure out whatever is going on. Why would you wait to the, her birth, even though, Friday wasn't her exact birthday. Why would you wait till her birthday dinner to all of a sudden want to bring up the trip and talk about this, this, and that, and is they still cool in the comment underneath her page? You could have been text her to figure out everything. You could have texted her the night before, like, hey, are you still going to such and such restaurant at 6? Like, am I still invited? You didn't do none of that, but you want to wait till the dinner. You want to wait till she posts the picture. So now all of a sudden you want to say something. So it was just weird. So... Brittany get on there and respond and Brittany no wrong right like you know I guess a couple of them do no wrong I was never around them when they hung out with them so I don't know how deep they know them but I, I know Brittany no wrong so mind y'all let me tell y'all kind of in hindsight so that same day wrong had posted a picture with her two sisters right like they just it was like a random picture that same day she posted that right keep that in mind we're gonna go back to make sure y'all stand with me I don't want to confuse y'all keep that in mind 
So, Brittany started commenting or whatever, and just saying, like, what's the problem? We had her birthday dinner, like, why are you trying to bring static, da da da, X, Y, and Z, right? So, they comment, like, going back and forth. So, I'm kind of just like reading the comments on my phone, like, at the dinner, and I'm just kind of sitting here and just eating my little food, and I'm just thinking, like, I ain't really saying much because, again, wrong is your friend. I don't have nothing to do with her. So, I'm just here just to be here. I might say my little two cents every blue moon, but I'm not about to do no arguing because. We are already had enough of her on the trip, so tap some other cousins or your sisters in to deal with her, because I'm already sick of wrong, right? So, I wasn't saying nothing or whatever, but Brittany and her sister kind of chimed in, so everybody is just kind of like on wrong in the comments a little bit, but my thing is wrong, because she wrote back and she was like, oh, damn, birthday girl, you want to send, you want to sick all your little gorillas on me, like something like that. She said like gorillas or yo apes or something. She like, you want to, I think she said gorillas. She comment was like, damn, you want to sick all your gorillas on me. I guess you can't face me by yourself. So, you know, once you say something like that, talking about you can't face me by yourself, it's kind of giving, I don't want to say fighting words, but it's kind of giving static. It's like, because what you mean I can't face you? Because, you know, birthday girl is like, girl, I was just on a whole trip with you. What are you talking about I can't face you by myself? And she like, I didn't send nobody to respond to you, but you're commenting on her birthday picture where all of her family is at, trying to argue with her. Of course her fucking family is going to say something, girl. Duh. So, of course, what does this lead to? Once wrong said that, the birthday girl said what she said. So now it's spiraling into an argument of bitches, hoes, do you want to get slapped? Da, da, da. Now it's giving that. At first it was like a surface level little argument, but now it's spilling over because you got her cousins riding back like, who the fuck a gorilla? Who this, da, 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 all of this. So I guess wrong had tagged her sister in. So now here come her sister and she commenting like, LOL, um, this is what this bitch say, which kind of got, got me involved a little bit because the sister want to come on there, tell me some goddamn LOL, tell me something, yeah, they all trying to team up on you just like they tried to do in Atlanta, but you back at home with your sisters now, so tell them bitches what's up. You know, I was going to stay out of it, but you talking about tell them bitches from Atlanta what's up? I, 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 I was one of them bitches in Atlanta. So now I feel like you're talking about me too. Absolutely. Because at first, I'm like, if all your cousins and sisters is arguing, responding, I don't need to be involved. But you're going to have your sister tell me something. We try to team up with you in Atlanta. So tell them bitches what's up. Because I know you came back home and saying, like, all of them was bullying me, all of this. She probably had her other friend, Kay, there. She was picking on me. No, did you tell your fucking sister that you used up all my perfume? Run me my money. Give me my 135 however much I paid for. Tell your sister to give me that while she want to come in and tell me some tell them Atlanta bitches what's up. And when she meant Atlanta bitches, she wasn't talking about the bitches from Atlanta. She was talking about me and Fran and a uh, birthday girl. So I'm like, oh, so now I'm saying a little bit more. Granted, I'm still not commenting underneath the post because like I've said, I'm not about to be in the Facebook argument with everybody else. So I'm just thinking like, oh, not you didn't ran and told your sister something. So now I'm investigating. Now I'm getting my investigating on because now I want to see how the sister look. Because, you know, sometimes you just be having to put a face to these names and see because, you know, I'll be out. I'll be outside. So I need to know when I'm outside if I run into somebody, what's, what, I got I to gotta be able to know the temperature, right? So that's what made me go to wrong page. So I went to wrong page, and then, of course, that's when I seen the picture of her and her sisters or whatever. So um, wrong coming back on the status like, man, don't even worry about a big sis. Them bitches couldn't see me in Atlanta. Like, I'm not even tripping. Like, that's probably why they really didn't want us to come to the dinner anyways. Like, she probably changed it because she didn't want me and y'all to pull up. <laughs> So I'm thinking like, not you commenting, talking about you, you texting or whatever, trying to act like you really want to come to the dinner. Meanwhile, you had other intentions because why are you talking about she probably changed the restaurant because she didn't want us to pull up. So that means you was coming with your sisters. Why are you coming with your sisters to somebody else's birthday dinner and you didn't run that by the birthday girl? So you already got ill intentions. Like that's what I'm saying. And my thing is, granted... I can understand if we all try to jump you or fight you back at Atlanta. Then I can see you feeling some type of way once we get back home. But like like a lot of y'all said in the comments, we all spared her. Like nobody was looking. Well, I wasn't looking to fight you because, again, you're not in my world. So I don't care enough about you to even have a problem or do anything like that with you. But you probably went back and you told your sisters a different story. So you thought what you, it was still stupid because you know birthday girl. You knew she had all these people coming. So even if you came with your two sisters what y'all thought y'all was gonna be able to do with everybody at the dinner 
Y'all still was going to be outnumbered, but I guess y'all thought y'all was going to stand on business or whatever. I don't know what y'all thought was going to happen. So, you know, they getting rowdy at the table. Not, like, really loud, but, you know, they just talking a mess. Like, them hoes don't want to see us, da 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 all it is. So, they kind of going back and forth. So, I'm just like, so, you know, birthday girl, of course, is responding like, us who the fuck said they were supposed to come to my dinner bitch i ain't i ain't real i ain't moved nothing because of you like girl you don't move shit around here da, da, da. they just kind of going back and forth so ron has solidified that she wanted problems because this bitch do what you do when you want to fight and she said after all the argument back and forth ron wrote pull up Y'all already know what that means. If you tell somebody to pull up. Oh, y'all, side note, I didn't got distracted. Y'all know I got ADHD. But um, if y'all know a really good crimp that gives like that wavy look, comment down below because I don't know how I feel about these crimps. Because it gives more like, I don't know. I want some better crimps. Like I want it to be a deep crimp. You get what I'm saying? So if you know a good one, let me know. But anyways, y'all don't care. Anyways, anyways, I told y'all I got ADHD, but y'all be thinking I be playing. No, I be serious. Like, I get distracted. So, anyways, she said pull up. So, you know, birthday girl and Brittany especially, they are, like, ready for action. Birthday girl's sister was trying to tell birthday girl, like, girl, we could fight them hoes another day. It's your birthday. You supposed to be going to the club afterwards. We had dinner. Don't let them hoes ruin your day. Because, mind you... I feel like Ron was intentionally trying to ruin her day because, like I said, you picked specifically today to come and start static when you have all these other days out the week. Now you want to wait till the day of the birthday dinner. Now you want problems. Okay. So, you know, birthday girl and Brittany. Brittany is like that cousin that's going to, like, egg on the 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 ratchet shit you get what i'm saying like she she's so sweet and nice but like if you get her to that point oh it's over so she the type that is gonna like no let's go beat them hoes ass like she gonna egg that she with whatever so britney kept telling um birthday girl like hell no you better not let them hoes try you they trying us da -da -da -da. let's go pull up on them bitches da -da -da, all it is so the sister and my you birthday girl's sister is a little bit older like i said just like years older not even a couple years but like uh like years and years older so she kind of on her grown woman shit you know and we just in our early you know whatever so birthday girl's sister are, like got kids and stuff so she giving more of that like grownish uh, answer like we're not worried about them hoes she like if ron really wants a problem with you she would have been said something like she's just trying to wear your birthday you look cute you don't know dress your heels your hair done makeup done barely because y'all know i did the makeup but she like you look good you gonna have a good time we'll fight them hoes tomorrow so i ain't gonna lie i was kind of like yeah birthday girl like seriously like we can because like i'm not tripping on them bitches y'all not riling me up because i can give two shit about you hoes but at the same time i feel like you already reserved the booth at the club and stuff we not about to go ruin your day to go fight them bitches but i understand you feel like she's trying you and you can't let it go so, you know, I'm just sitting there like, it's whatever y'all really want to do. Like, I'm not tripping about nothing. So, after some convincing from her sister and, like, other people that was at the table, you know, birthday girl was like, fine, we still going to go out, we going to eat, we going to have a good time, I'm going to deal with that tomorrow. Finally, birthday girl ended up responding. But mind you, at this point, as you can imagine, all her other family members and friends that's not at the dinner or whatever, or just like her family, they on social media commenting because they like, oh, pull up, bitch, drop your edges. I'll pull up for birthday girl, like, da, da, da. So, she's arguing with the other family. Well, the family is arguing, but Ron just keep putting, like, LOL, I'm I'm not talking to y'all, did it all this other stuff, right? So birthday girl responded was like, bitch, we'll see you tomorrow. We could fight tomorrow. So Ron commented like, oh, you scared. Y'all scared as fuck. Scary bitches, nah. Why wait for tomorrow? What you could do today? So birthday girl is like, girl, you already know what's up with me. Ain't nobody scared of you, but you know it's my birthday and I'm going to have a good time. You trying to ruin this shit, da, 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 no. So Ron is like, nah, pull up today, pull up today. Like, if you about your shit, like, pull up. So she kept telling her to pull up. Birthday girl basically is like, no, I'm pulling up tomorrow, whatever. So I'm just like, okay, let's just enjoy our dinner then. Have a good time. We're going to worry about that shit tomorrow then. So um, birthday girl kept putting her phone down. But, of course, she's getting all these notifications. So it's like you kind of, you trying to ignore it, but you kind of can't help it either. So Ron ended up going on her page, and she started making statuses and stuff like, bitches, y'all know what the, what, the, what the messy girls talk about. Uh, bitches don't want to see me. Hoes are scary. They talking about tomorrow. What about today? Da, 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 all this other stuff, right? So she's saying stuff or whatever. So, of course, some of birthday girl family members follow Ron to her page and start commenting on her status. Whew, I ain't going to lie, being in front of these lights sometimes. 
sometimes it get hot. But so um some of birthday girl people travel to wrong page and start commenting on her status. Of course now they on wrong ter territory. So now wrong people is arguing with birthday girl people. Okay, keep up, keep up. I'm so sorry, y'all. Keep up. So it was a back and forth about that. So eventually, you know, dinner over. So we about to go to the club. Ron's still saying little shit every blue moon about how we scary and you know, all of this or whatever. So we at the club having a good time. You know, she got a bottle. So we drinking. We turning up. So birthday girl, you could tell she's trying to fight the urge, but she's giving bother a little bit. I'm not going to lie because, you know, and I understand like when you trying to have a good time and people are just tagging you and shit. Like, so I get it. She was trying her best to ignore it. But like, you know, people are calling her phone now. People are texting her like family members and stuff. So like she can't just, you know, she can't get away from it. So while we at the club, we drinking, we getting a little buzz, we having a good time, we turning up. I'm definitely turning up. I kept looking back. I keep seeing birthday girl on her phone, saying little stuff, whatever. So I'm trying to grab her and get her to dance. Like, girl, put the phone down. We are not worried about no damn wrong. So mind you, at the club, it's more her friends that could make it to the dinner. And then it's her cousin and one of her sisters. The other sister had went home or whatever. So we all like, yeah, we're not going to worry about them hoes. Brittany, her cousin, she like, actually, tell them bitches to pull up to the club. Brittany was not having it. Like, Brittany, like, actually told them I was to pull up to the club. And, you know, that way they ain't really ruin, ruining your birthday because we already ate. We at the club. So, by the time we leave the club, we can fight them hoes and go home and get a good night's sleep. Like, she literally said that. So, I'm just, like, laughing because I'm like, Brittany is just so, she's just so funny because she's like, bitch, tell them hoes to pull up here. How about that? Fuck waiting until tomorrow, even though it's after midnight. So, technically, it is tomorrow. So, after Ron gets talking all this junk on social media about how, we she saying them well she really was only saying birthday girl name and like her people but i guess i'm included in that in her people so whatever but she kept calling birthday girl out on social media like them bitches scared they told my wait till tomorrow who you know when somebody said they want to fight they tell them wait till tomorrow it's giving scary it's giving this it's giving that so she's saying all of that so what do birthday girl do go do she go on wrong page and she say i'm at such and such club pull up I'm like, oh, here we go with the fucking pull-ups. Here we go again. So, I'm just still kind of turning up or whatever. I'm getting numbers and stuff because I'm trying to build my little roster, okay? So, um, I'm getting my numbers. I'm talking to people or whatever. So, they over there kind of like huddled up a little bit. And I'm like, some, I mean, they still dancing. They still kind of having fun. But every blue moon, they would go back to their phone and stuff. Well, only Brittany... A birthday girl friend and Brit and uh, not Brittany and birthday girl sister. Everybody else like all her other friends because she had coworkers there and stuff. We was turned up. We was lit. We was still drinking. So I don't want y'all to think they was bothering all of us and we all was just sitting in the booth worried about the phone. Now the rest of us was turned up. If they want to worry about that, that's gonna be on them. If them bitches ain't coming here, I ain't worried about them hoes. So. They was texting them and stuff. So, after birthday girl had wrote that, here come wrong. Because, mind you, every blue moon, I will go and see what's the update and stuff just to check the temperature. But I wasn't standing over there the whole time, right? So, when I went back or whatever, wrong was like, here go this bitch. This all, after birthday girl had commented and said, like, pull up to the club, here go wrong. Talking about, nah, I told y'all to pull up. Y'all ain't want to pull up. So, we ain't pulling up nowhere y'all at. Like, no, we not about to do that. Like, why you can't come here? So, the birthday girl was like, no, I come to the club. Like, you want me to pull up to your house instead of me coming to your house or you coming to my house. Pull up at the club. Like, and at the club really didn't mean, like, oh, in front of the building. But, you know, it's parking lots. It's open spaces all by the clubs and stuff. So, it's like, just come to this area and we can figure it out because you're trying to get somebody to come to your house. And then, of course, I bet you tomorrow if birthday girl tell Ron to come to her house, she going to be like, no, I'm not coming there. I'm not doing this. So we like, no, let's meet at like a middle ground, a mutual spot that's not her residence or your residence. So now wrong all of a sudden, like, I'm not meeting up at the club. Like, I'm not about to argue with you bitches all day. I'm about to go to bed. It's one o'clock in the morning. Now it's late, but bitch, you kept making statuses all day since the dinner. Well, I ain't gonna say all day, but since like six, six, seven o'clock from the dinner, you've been making statuses. Now somebody telling you to pull up to the club. Now you, I'm about to go to bed. I'm not about to keep arguing with you. I'm not about to, but you was doing that, love. Like, you you started all of this like what are you talking about so somebody from wrong and i don't know the relation to her but she had comment was sent telling wrong like come on like let's go to the club like fuck them hoes like let's go like trying to tell wrong to come wrong is come back on the status like no i'm not going up there like i'm not moving when they tell me to move Oh, but you wanted birthday girl to move when you told her to move. When you told her to pull up right now after the dinner, you wanted the birthday girl to move. But now you talking about I'm not moving when they say move. Like, girl, what what is going on? 
So the girl that was on wrong end was like, no, come on, we already up, let's go. Like, we can head down there, it's not a problem. So wrong is just like, uh, cousin, friend, whatever she said, she ended up sending, like, the girl name. She like, I ain't worried about them. Like, I don't got to rush and do nothing. They don't really want to see me for real because if they did, they would have pulled up to the house. So they kind of, like, going back and forth a little bit, not arguing, but, like, wrong friend or a person trying to get her to come and wrong trying to act like i'm not going down there i'm not doing this bitch but you talking all this junk so like what is the point so after they was going back and forth birthday girl and britney they had comment like lol that's exactly what i thought like your friend even trying to get you to come and you don't even want to come because you really scary but you want to have this narrative that somebody was trying to bully you or jump you back in atlanta knowing that that's not true oh so they kind of doing the social media shit again they kind of going back and forth you know i'm still turning up i'm still dancing so i'm like you know at this point i'll ask the birthday girl like is they coming or, like, what's going on here? So, she, like, um, they ain't talking about nothing. They're not about to come. But, mind you, birthday girl still put the name in the club. So, you just never know. Because I'm, like, at the end of the day, you said come to the club such and such. So, them hoes could be acting like they're not going to come just so we could be, like, off our guard or whatever. And they might end up showing up. So, you know, when we leave the club, I'm thinking we still need to be on our P's and Q's because you still dropped our location. Like, you know, and that can be dangerous. I know some people going to be like, I want to put the name in my club. But it's just, like, nobody was worried about her. So, it's, like... You get what I'm saying? But she did put the name on there. So I'm like, well, when we leave here, just make sure we're aware. I know we all been drinking. We've been having a good time. But make sure we all aware of what's going on. Because you never know. Them hoes might be waiting at the door. They might be waiting at the door for us. So at that point, once I lost, like, that hoe ain't coming, we went back to turning up for our little last hour. We turning up. We drinking a bottle. It's a lot of us. So we do get another bottle. We having fun. We turning up. Mind you, we end up meeting, like, some guys. Like, these guys had a booth next to us. So, like, you could tell it was the, it was a guy birthday over there. And then it was a lot of girls, like, at our booth because it was a lot of his homeboys. So, you know, we all kind of, like, you know, just kicking it with each other or whatever. And after the club let out, we were still, like, kind of talking to them. And they said they was going to go get something to eat. Now, if y'all remember, and a lot of y'all is new here, but I talked about this IHOP before that um that I went to after, y'all remember Shrimp Sister? I forgot what I named Shrimp Sister, but remember Shrimp Sister tried to pull up outside this IHOP, like, looking for me or whatever? It's the same IHOP, right? So, and of course, because there's only certain things that's open, you know, after 2 o'clock. So, we, um, you know, we always talk in, like, let's go to IHOP, then we can go get something to eat. We all go to IHOP, so it's a lot of us because we got the the boy booth that we just met and then the people that's with us. So we go there, we eating our food, whatever. I guess a uh, birthday girl ended up looking at her phone. Like, I guess she was reading the rest of the comments that was still on there that she had missed. And, like, they weren't really talking about nothing. It didn't even really matter. Because now on her own page, you got people asking her, like, who tried to jump you in the land? And, like, what's going on? Who did this? Who did that? And, mind you, at the same time, we did, like, especially our first day there. Well, not our first, my first day there, because, you know, they came before us. We did take a group picture, and it was on her own page. So, you know, I'm in the picture that's on her own page. And she made a comment, like, and tagged Atlanta in there or something that got to do with Atlanta. So, I felt like a lot of people was going back, mind you. I forgot to mention that part, but that's how I had wrong on social media because when she uploaded that picture, she tagged me in it, right? And, you know, because it was all of us, it was a group, like, group girls picture. So, she tagged me in it. So, now, you, I'm getting notifications because people are commenting underneath that picture because they realize, oh, this, these are the girls that she went to Atlanta with. So, now people are commenting underneath that picture saying, like, oh, is these the girls that try to jump you, this and that, da 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 Some of her cousins is getting bold. They trying to, ta they tagging me, friend, and birthday girl and stuff. Like, they just doing a lot of shit. So I'm just so now I'm getting irritated. Cause I'm like, okay, at first I wasn't really involved. Like she was just saying stuff, but now you got your people tagging my name and stuff, and I I ain't even got nothing to do with this for real. Well, I was in Atlanta, so I guess I do, but it's like, bitch, I ain't even your friend. I didn't try to fight you there. I barely argue with you. We don't had no smoke. We left off. You got in my damn lift ride. Like you know, I just thought I was like clear. Like I ain't really had nothing to do. But now if your cousin gonna start fucking calling people out, you better chill out because no, no shade to you, birthday girl. You know I love you, but listen, don't come this way with this shit wrong because my cousins and them they're not gonna argue with you on social media, baby. You tell us to pull up, we gonna fucking come. And the only reason I didn't come was she told birthday girl really pull up because that's not really my fight but if you gonna call me out and it's directed towards me baby we not gonna do all this these games on the social media we're, we're not gonna do that okay like no so let me tell you about the plot twist in this though y'all hold up so 
this is and it's weird that's why i can't really figure out what's wrong motive like I, I can't figure out a bitch like that because this is how let's get to it so once they started tagging my name and stuff saying like is these the bitches that jumped you or tried to jump you blah 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 this is when i comment because don't tag my motherfucking name like come on now we're not doing that so when she tagged my when they tag my name and mind you i'm buzzing too so i went on there like so this when i comment and i comment underneath the picture and i just was like wrong you got me fucked up like don't be telling nobody that i try to jump you in atlanta you know i was nice to you i let you use x y and z da, 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 all of this like don't be having no false narrative spread about me because bitch now if i did try to jump you cool you can say whatever you want but don't be spreading no lies about me like girl i didn't need to jump you we no, like let's be fucking for real like girl don't say that so against my better judgment because now at this point i'm buzzing too i'm prepared for an argument because grown have been getting static all day but after i said my long i ain't gonna lie because i was buzzing i had a long fucking paragraph you know you drinking you get to spill of everything so i did have a long paragraph even though i just told you i really don't argue on social media which i don't but it's like i had a lot of shit to say because you got me messed up you got your cousins tagging me and who is this who is that who is k who is that you got them tagging me and shit don't play with me like that so i did have a long thing like bitch i didn't try to jump you i was nothing but nice to you for real and this this and that and all of this against my better judgment y'all why this wrong comment and she was like no everybody like no she didn't have nothing to do with that it's crazy that i went on a trip with my friends and the only girl that i didn't know was the nicest one to me <laughs> talking about me so i'm like my thing is yeah you kind of came to my defense but weirdo i mean weirdo not weirdo i do got a story something about a weirdo uh who name is weirdo but not weirdo wrong it was just weird because it's like wrong one minute on a trip you was kind of like at my throat and now you like taken up for me so i honestly didn't know how to feel because i'm like i don't know if you coming or going but so she said that and she kind of came to my defense like oh yeah she was the only one i didn't know and she was the only one nice to me and i'm thinking like yeah but bitch on the trip you was acting like i had an attitude and i was being mean to you and now you telling people i was the only one nice to you mm, okay i'll take it i guess so when she said that you know i just liked her message because it's like i ain't got nothing else to say like it, it is what it is you told them it wasn't me fine move on because my thing is I don't care that they know I went on a trip, but don't be saying we try to jump you. Like, don't do that weird, goofy shit. So, one of her one of her people, again, I don't know if it's her cousin or whatever, one of her own people was like, oh, okay, good. I was just making sure because I didn't want to have to beat her ass, too. <laughs> Talking about me, I'm assuming. Like, oh, okay, good. Like, she said something like, um, okay, good. So, I ain't got to worry about beating her ass or, like, something like that. So, at first... I, w I was done commenting. But now you comment back. Uh, mind you, the girl didn't tag me. But you know when somebody comment underneath your comment, you still get notified. So, you know, I comment. And I was like, girl, uh, LOL, whether it was me or not, you will not going to beat nobody ass over here. Like, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. The girl commented something, y'all. But Ron was deleting her comments. Because you know how you get the notification. But if you click, like, on the notification, it take you to the picture. But you don't see nothing. So, Ron must have been deleting her comment. So, I'm like, okay, like, you know, because I kept refreshing to see what she was going to say. And Ron was deleting it. So, I was like, okay, maybe Ron don't want me and that girl to argue. Because who you talking about? Like, you sparing me. Oh, okay, so I ain't got to be her ass. But you ain't going to be nothing. Fuck. Who are you? Like, what is you talking about? But she kept deleting her comment. I don't know if the girl kept trying to say stuff because I kept getting, like, I got, like, two or three more notifications. But I would click and it would be nothing there. So, Rome must have been deleting her comments. So, at that point, because I kept getting the notifications, I had just wrote, even though I didn't see the girl comment no more, I just wrote a second comment underneath mine. It's like, listen, I said what I said, but y'all see my ad, so if anybody got a problem with me, you know how to reach me. Like, bitch, you can add me as a friend. You can DM me. You can do whatever you need to do. You ain't got to keep commenting on this picture. But if any of her people got a problem, then go ahead and DM me. Like, you know, because I just want to keep it clear. Like, bitch, I'm not ducking no smoke. But at the same time, make sure you, you know, you directing your energy to the right person. Like, don't be listening to nobody saying we try to jump somebody and did all of this, bitch. Then you got to picture us up. They putting a the face to the Atlanta girl. Like, they going to think I try to jump you. We not having that. So, I didn't see no more comments underneath, but at that point, of course, because uh, all our names was tagged, Fran and uh, Birthday Girl, they was getting notifications too. So, they arguing with other people because Wrong is underneath the comments. Now, we move from Birthday Girl picture on her page to now we on Wrong picture on her page. So, 
Now they going back and forth because some of the cousins or friends or whatever from wrong side is saying, so, oh, it was, it was, they was tagging birthday girl and friend name in it. Like, oh, so it was these bitches that tried to jump you and they been your friend the longest and did it all it is. So now they tagging them. So friend and uh birthday girl, they going back and forth. So they had their own little separate going back and forth little comment section and all of that. So wrong is in that comment section going back and forth with them. Like, yeah, these hoes goofy as fuck did it all it is. So they over there arguing. So I'm just like, ugh. We at uh, IHOP, mind you, we still with the dudes. Like, we, like, they probably looking at us like, okay, we trying to take y'all out and talk to y'all. And we in our phone because we was in them bitches like this. Like, you know, I wasn't in mine too long. Because after I said my little two comments, I chucked the deuces and I was I, I was out of there. Because there's no need for me to go back and forth with none of you hoes. So, I was done. So, I went back to talk to my little friend and stuff. So, they were just asking us. At this point, they like, well, what's going on, y'all? Because y'all too heavily in y'all phone. So, they started explaining the situation. I'm talking about some shit separately because the boy I was talking to, he was talking about how it was his cousin's birthday tomorrow. Cause, yeah, I think it was a Friday because I just realized. Because I don't think they went there on a Sunday. I think it was a Friday. But anyways, he was telling me how his cousin's birthday was tomorrow and that they was going to see Jay Barrymore, y'all. And I, I want to go. Like, so I was just like, y'all going to go go-kart racing? Y'all going to be playing the games? I want to come. Like, I'm just talking to him like, I want to come. I'm drunk too. So it's like, you know, I'm all excited because I love to play little games. I want to go go-kart racing. Okay? I want to do the little... Hockey, what's the call? Not hockey, um, what's the thing called? Y'all know the little slide and thing? I forgot what that little thing called that you know you having a little thing and you gotta hit that little, you gotta hit that little puck thing and try to get it in. I be wanting to play that. I don't know the name. I'm having a brain fart on the name, but I be wanting to hit that thing so I can go into the other opponent little thing and all that. Like, I be wanting to play a game. So I'm over here talking about if I can go to David Foster's with him. So I know y'all thinking like we just met, but like, it's never too soon for the first date. Like, and David Buster's is an open place. So, like, we don't kidnap me there. I don't know. But, anyways, David Buster's or CJ Barrymore, whichever one. I have forgot which one. Yeah. Me there. I don't know. But, anyways, so we over here talking about that. Like, like I want to come. I want to come. So, we talking. They was over there still talking about the situation. I'm like, I'm not worried about them. And Brittany, all she kept saying, because she was saying it out loud while she was typing, she was like this. Pull up. You know how you say it out loud, what you about to say? She like, pull uh, like she just kept saying that over and over like she she spammed her comments like four or five times like pull up big capital letters exclamation exclamation point pull up pull up pull up like she just kept saying that so they just arguing and everybody just getting fed up so at this point I guess birthday girl she had a few drinks in her too not like it's not like she not really bought it but you know the drinks just escalated a little bit more so at this point i guess she was tired of arguing whatever so she calls wrong like fuck the social media stuff like what's up like what we about to do she called wrong and at this point me and wrong of course i ain't know her that long but i do know her voice somebody else answered wrong phone so i'm guessing it wasn't the sister or whatever because the birthday girl and them they said they know wrong sister and it didn't sound like her so i don't know if it's a friend a cousin a aunt, an uncle a daddy a sister a brother i don't know but somebody else had answered the phone so the birthday girl was like um you know are y'all pulling up like what y'all gonna do so the person who answered the phone just like saying stuff you know how people get on the phone and they be talking to their background so because mind you um, birthday girl got it on speaker so that way me, Brett, and um, I love people could hear. So it's like, birthday girl, like, is y'all pulling up or not? Like, what's going on? I'm not gonna keep doing the social media shit. Whoever answered the phone, you can hear wrong in the background. They all laughing, like, she talking about we pulling up. It's like, fuck them hoes. They're not talking about nothing, like, talking to each other. So the birthday girl, like, hello, hello, y'all pulling up, hello. So they just in the background talking, like, well, fuck them hoes. We not worried about them. Like, you can tell they either dapping each other up, smacking each other ass or something, because you hear a lot of just like a, you know, clapping or just noise. So, and wrong, and they're like, right, right, no, this, da da da, all of this. So they just talking to each other. So, birthday birthday girl is just sitting there she's sitting there quiet like so she just waiting so i guess because birthday girls got so quiet the girl on the other line she was like hello and birthday girl was like yes like are y'all hoes coming or not like why do y'all keep talking to each other in the background why did you answer the phone if you wasn't gonna respond to me like and she like bitch i can do whatever god won't this ain't your phone da, da, da. like she just started going crazy so birthday girl is laughing she like girl are we meeting up or not like what are you talking about da, da, da. so i'm just like oh my god or whatever so wrong is like no no we're not meeting up like you said you want to meet up tomorrow so we're gonna meet up tomorrow like make sure you get up in the morning so birthday girl was like bitch you sound stupid like i'm not waking up in the morning to fight your ass like i'm out late you think i'm about to get up early in the morning she's like girl i'll see you in the afternoon 
So it's kind of like, in my opinion, I feel like Rome was duck in the smoke because you keep trying to get us to pull up at, at times that you know it's kind of going to be an inconvenience. Like, you see we at dinner, and you talking about pull up, like, we really about to leave our dinner to come fight or whatever. But then when we try to reschedule, it's funny that we're over here rescheduling and trying to schedule a goddamn fight. But when we trying to reschedule, you talking about, you talking about no. Because when we first said let's do it tomorrow, you talking about no, let's do it tonight. You're not on our time. Now we like, okay, come to the club since you want to do it tonight. Now you like, uh-uh. And then it's getting later and later, so you like, yeah, let's just do it tomorrow. So we like, okay, we can do it tomorrow. Now you tell my, oh no, but it gotta be in the morning. Bitch, nobody getting up at no nine o'clock in the morning to come fight. And we out and we've been drinking and it's our birthday, so we lit. You think we about to set our alarm to wake up to come fight early in the morning? No. We don't wanna be fighting while the birds is chirping. Come on now. So it's like then you said the morning. So then the birthday girl was like, no, we can fight tomorrow, but it's going to be in the afternoon. Now you're talking about, oh, not the afternoon. And I'm like, well, I got a CJ Barrymore day tomorrow. So can it be like around the one, two-ish area? Like, can we do it a little bit before I go on a date? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on? So they over here, like, trying to figure out what's the best time. They like, okay, not too early, but not too late. So wrong, like, okay, how about 12? And then birthday girl, like, oh, maybe not 12. What about two? Two was okay. Then they like, what about if we meet? in the middle at one i'm like now we negotiating the time frame for the fucking fight what's going on here so whatever they was just saying stuff it's like i'm listening but i'm still talking about the cj barrymore so i'm like yeah so what you said seven okay yeah 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 i'm over here in my little world with my little new little boo okay um and when i be saying boo it don't be that serious i should be saying that because a lot of times y'all be like oh you just met him he already your boo I just can't say his name, so I just say my boo and shut up. Just shut up, okay? Um, but anyways, <laughs> yeah, so I was listening or whatever, so I guess they get off the phone. Um, so they like, okay, yep, tomorrow we in the field, we're gonna go fight them hoes. I'm like, okay, whatever. Like I'm just I'm just here to be there. You know, like if you call me, I'm gonna come. If you don't call me, I'm not gonna worry about it because y'all got the static, y'all got the smoke. I ain't really tripping. I'm just fucking here. I'm always just here. I'm just here. I just exist. Y'all know my motto since day one, baby. I just exist. I just be existing. So, like, I don't be having time for all that other stuff, all that knick-knack, patty wet, give a dog a bone. You get what I'm saying? So, anyways, so they're like, okay, cool. So, we finished the night, and you know how the guys be. Y'all too pretty to be fighting and stuff. I'm like, shit, I know. Too. I know, baby. I know. So, and he, like, my little boo telling me, like, yeah, you, I want you to come there. You know, we're going on our little date. I don't want you to come with scratches and shit on your face. I'm like, baby. I ain't going to come with no scratches on my face. I'm going to be just fine. You ain't got to worry about that boo thing. But anyway, so we finish up. And I have, you know, we all go home, whatever. We say bye. I drop, uh, so Brittany ended up taking birthday girl home because she drove her car too. But at first she didn't know if she was coming to the club or not. So that's why I was like, okay. But yeah, she ended up taking them home. I go home. Cool. So I go to bed, you know, whatever. I wake up. I'm eating and stuff. I'm just kind of chilling. And next thing you know, I get that call. I get that call from birthday girl like, it's time. Bitch, it's on. It's time, okay? I'm like, well, let me go get the Vaseline and get my life together. But let me get prepared. And y'all gonna have to get prepared next week when I finish it. And I understand y'all sick of it. Like, people was commenting to me some. This girl, first of all, this bitch sounds so stupid to me. I wish YouTube recommended me when you was finished with all the parts. Well, how the fuck YouTube gonna be, how they gonna know when I'm done with all the parts? Like, girl, if it's that serious, like, if y'all feel like y'all about to jump off a cliff because I'm leaving a cliffhanger, baby, then why don't you just wait until the final part and just be, and just wait. Why don't you just come back to my page in a couple months and hopefully I'll be done with it. But y'all not gonna rush my parts because y'all tied us part seven part eight part nine listen i'm trying to do it this way because if i do part one two and three and then i give it a break i'm gonna end up forgetting so i'm trying to get it all out while i remember that way i don't end up forgetting y'all ain't gotta be on my page like where's the second part where's the third part so it don't matter how many parts these is i might do all the way to part 10 just because you get what i'm saying but um but no for real i didn't know if i was gonna make this like a part six or should i start like should this be like part one of the girls trip aftermath because technically it's not about the girls trip no more because i fucking know no actually i'm gonna leave it at a part six because i need y'all to know i don't want to put it as a part one because then y'all gonna think like y'all probably gonna be like who is these people like y'all gonna think this is a new story time so i'm gonna leave it at part six but anyways y'all i'm just thinking out loud
I must have about a million on me right now. And I ain't talking about that Lil Wayne record. I'm still the highest. Okay. Anyways, no need. Nah, shout out to you, girl. I love you. But anyways. um, Yeah, I'm just thinking a lot. But yes, y'all. We got to tune into next week. Tune into next week to get the rest of the tea. Period. But yes, y'all. That is the end of my story time. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Comment down below. And make sure you are subscribed. Because YouTube do be unsubscribing, y'all. So just double check. Turn on your post notifications. And follow me on Instagram. And text that guy. Catch y'all with the ease. Y'all already know the drill. But until next time i'll see you in my next video peace